As a member of a squad or team, you will often receive tactical orders to move to a new location. The focus of this video is to help you determine the grid azimuth of a starting point and ending point designated in an order and identify the locations on a 1 to 50,000 scale military map. Using a military protractor, a pencil, and paper, you will draw a line between the two points and determine the value of the angle. Identify the starting point, A, on the map. Identify ending point, B, on the map. Remember, when measuring azimuths on a map, you are measuring from a starting point to an ending point. If the reading is taken from the ending point first, the grid azimuth will be 180 degrees off, and you will move in the wrong direction. Using a straight edge, draw a line on the map connecting the starting point, A, and the ending point B, extending the line beyond both points. Place the protractor index over the starting point on the map. The 0 or 360 degree mark on the protractor is always toward north on the map, and the 90 degree mark is to the east. While keeping the index in place, align the protractor baseline, or 0, to 180 degree line, making it parallel to a vertical north-south map grid line. Determine the value of the grid azimuth using the inner scale for degrees, not the outer scale for mils. In this example, the grid azimuth would be 65 degrees. Using a protractor to find a grid azimuth is a key component to understanding and successfully performing land navigation.